Why does a corpse flower stink? The corpse flower stinks to attract pollinators like flies and beetles that love the smell of rotting meat. Its foul odor comes from chemicals also found in decaying animals such as sulfur compounds. Hmm. Now, when the flower blooms, it also starts heating up, spreading its nasty smell even farther, making it seem like a warm, fresh carcass. These bugs, fooled by the stink, land on the flower and help pollinate it. Hence, the corpse flower stinks. Hmm. Why do we get a flaky scalp in winter? Firstly, cold air and low humidity can dry out our skin, including the scalp, leading to flakes and itchiness. Secondly, indoor heating also contributes to the dryness by removing moisture from the air. This can cause our scalp to lose its natural oils, leading to irritation. Thirdly, a lack of sunlight in the winter months can affect the balance of our scalp's natural oils and yeast-like fungi, like Malassezia, which can cause dandruff. Lastly, wearing hats during winter can further trap heat and sweat, promoting dryness and flakes. Hmm. Why do birds sing loudly in the morning? Firstly, male birds often sing in the morning to impress potential mates. Hmm. Secondly, there is less noise in the morning. This allows the birds' songs to travel further, thus making communication more effective. Hmm. Thirdly, as the light is too dim in the early mornings, singing seems like a productive way for birds to spend their time. Hmm. Lastly, after resting through the night, birds have replenished their energy reserves. Singing in the morning lets them use this energy burst. Hmm. Huh? Why exactly do bees buzz? Firstly, bees use vibrations to shake pollen off flowers and onto their bodies. This process is called buzz pollination and is used by bumblebees and other bees to gather pollen for their colonies. Secondly, bees produce different vibrations to communicate with each other. Thirdly, bees produce high-pitched buzzes as a warning or defensive signal. Lastly, bees produce thermogenic buzzes to generate heat. How high do planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Huh? Why are babies born with blue eyes? Before being born, babies spend several months in almost complete darkness. Now, in many babies, melanocytes secrete melanin without the need for light. In these cases, the melanin gives the baby's eyes their brown color at birth. Hmm. But in some babies, melanocytes require light to trigger melanin production. Now, as these babies have spent the last several months in almost complete darkness, there hasn't been much melanin production, hence their eyes look blue. What is the science behind muscle growth? Firstly, for muscle growth, we need to apply stress, which is greater than what our muscles are used to. This leads to mTOR and satellite cell activation. Both are responsible for muscle growth. Hmm. Secondly, when one feels sore after a workout, one may be experiencing localized muscle damage. This leads to the activation of satellite cells, 
which are said to be responsible for muscle growth. <laughs> hmm. Lastly, pump training, as in doing repetitions at a fast speed with short rest intervals, causes metabolic stress. Metabolic stress causes cell swelling around the muscles, thus making them appear larger. Hmm. Why do humans have five fingers? A theory suggests that we have five fingers because together they make a perfect strong grip. Using them, we can operate small objects with great control and precision. Second theory suggests that three molecules called BMP, WNT, and SOX9 are responsible for our five fingers. Since in our embryonic stage, they mark out spaces specifically for these five fingers. Finally, Lim Law predicts that the number of fingers on our hand should be around five, based on the idea that since fingers must be able to reach back over our palm and cover it, the finger length should be roughly the same as the diameter of our palm. Hmm. What causes some people to stutter? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc., thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. <laughs> Why do men have a deeper voice? According to a research, during prehistoric times, males had to fight for females. So deeper voices allowed them to appear more intimidating and dominant, thus scaring their opponent away. Hmm. Now, let's see how this deep voice is produced. The size of larynx or voice box is greater in males as compared to females. Hence, the vocal folds or cords present within the larynx lengthen as well as thicken. As a result, when males speak, the folds vibrate less per second, thus producing a deeper voice. Hmm. What is the cause of birthmarks? Birthmarks are colored marks on our skin which are present at birth or appear shortly afterwards. Birthmarks are of two types, vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are caused when a lot of blood vessels clump together, or they are stretched wider than usual. Pigmented birthmarks are generally caused when cells called melanocytes grow together in clusters. Birthmarks may also be inherited sometimes, and some of them may be similar to marks on other family members. 